Thank you again for your company this morning and we will kick things off today with some royal news. Kensington Palace releasing new pictures of Princess Charlotte to mark her seventh birthday. Oh, the beautiful images were taken, of course, by the Duchess of Cambridge, her mother, at their country home in Norfolk. What a little cherub. Let's bring in Nine Honey's royal commentator, Natalie Oliveri, with the latest. Nat, she just looks so happy and so grown up. Good morning, David and Sylvia. Isn't she just adorable? Beautiful photos of Princess Charlotte released. Today is her seventh birthday. And look, as you mentioned, these photos were taken by Charlotte's mum, the Duchess of Cambridge. This follows a long tradition that Kate has been doing for many years now, taking photos of her three children to mark their birthdays. Just last week, we saw Kate taking photos of Prince Louis, but these photos of Charlotte were taken uh, <laughs> just close to their home and Mahal in Norfolk. And Charlotte's surrounded by uh, all these beautiful bluebell flowers. And this is their family dog. Her name is Orla. And she Orla. is Orla, and she's a descendant from uh, Kate and William's first dog, Lupo, who sadly passed away in November 2020. Okay, but cool. uh, really lovely photos of uh, Charlotte there, and happy birthday to her, isn't it beautiful? Who do you think she looks like? I think William. I think it's a good split. <laughs> yeah. No, I just see the Queen in no, her I see eyes. William and Kate, like Kate's hair, a lot of William's eyes and smile, but then Kate's colouring. It's, it's really interesting. Yeah, it's interesting to see how straight her hair is, though, because yeah. Kate has natural curls but isn't she just beautiful, oh really I think she does have oh, there naturally is, curly there hair. There is not a royal detail that you are not <laughs> across. You know that? You know hey, look we saw Kate's hair sort of buff up a bit when she was in uh, the yeah. Solomon Islands or Samoa or one of those countries a few yeah. years ago with the humidity so. Tonga. <laughs> Tonga We're that's in what Tonga. Awesome. And now meanwhile a blow for Meghan Markle this morning. What has happened? Yeah so Meghan uh, her animated series called Pearl this was due to hit Netflix. Really no release date as yet but it has been shelved and now, this is believed to be because of lots of people, uh, I guess, cancelling their subscription yeah. with Netflix over costs and password issues. But look, over the weekend, the streaming giant has shelved Megan's project. This was uh, due to be the first animated series from Archwell Productions, and that, of course, is Harry and Megan's production company. Now, it was being produced by uh, David Furnish, who is, of course, mm. Elton John's husband, and it was going to follow the adventures of a 12-year-old girl and said to be inspired by Meghan's own story here. It is a shame. Look, Harry and Meghan signed with Netflix after leaving the royal family, leaving their positions as senior working royals in the royal family. They haven't really done much with Netflix since signing that multi-million well, dollar deal. had to deal. watch it all first. You've <laughs> got to know where you're, what you're signing so, on so to. So what does this mean well, for right. their deal? Do they still get paid? They're, yeah, they are still the getting paid. They haven't produced anything as yet. However, we saw Harry and Meghan in the Netherlands recently. They were filming a doco series for uh, Netflix, right. Heart of Invictus, and that's due to premiere later this year or early next year. So that will be really their first project. That's it. I mean, so many things got cancelled last week mm. on Netflix. We saw the Steve Carell project get cancelled. We know mm. that Will Smith's project got cancelled. This is all due to this, the big cull of people just leaving. Absolutely. The and two other children's shows also got axed too. So it wasn't just Megan's yeah. project. All right, now Prince Harry is settling into a new sport. What's he playing? So he's playing polo. That's now, not a new sport, not a new is sport it water for polo? Harry. Not a water polo. Okay. He's playing polo. Now, he has been playing this for years. However, Harry has joined a new team. Now, this is uh, the Santa Barbara Polo Club. And he's actually teaming up with his longtime friend, Nacho Figueres. Now, they have been playing polo together for years. And their team Sounds is delicious. called <laughs> Los Padres, which translates oh, Los to fathers. the fathers or the parents from the Spanish. Daddies. So, well, the daddies. The daddies. <laughs> 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 Those white jodhpurs, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Well, that. Yeah, yeah. Their team is uh, there to do good, Nacho says. And look, I would like to see them play, wouldn't Giddy you? Giddy up, Nachos. <laughs> I think it's Arriba, Arriba. <laughs> <laughs> arriba, Nachos. See you mañana. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank so you much, very much, Nan.